Ice out. Whatever you need. Eight minute interview. Eight minute interview. The, uh, this is for Associated Press. It goes all over the planet. Oh, um, wonderful. To the planet. It's Good. Uh, um, and it's also for the Warner generic. So. Generic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to makes the Warner generic. Makes me feel so special. Yeah. Yes, it You're does. the generic man. <coughs> um, I will ask you uh, d one sort of missionary position question, and then Certainly. we'll get to sort of fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're <laughs> the best. It's a, it's a family movie. It is a it's, Yeah. Missionary um, position for a penguin. It, well. Put on the collar. You know who's the bitch. <laughs> But we'll get to Lovelace later, indeed. Yes. Um, uh, essentially, this is March of the Penguins meets Moulin Rouge. Oh, nicely done, I think. I think you could put that there. <laughs> um, also, River Dance and a little bit of Footloose. I think you have that going on. Yeah, I think he's put, pretty much if you've seen March of the Penguins, you know the kind of the, uh, the dynamics of penguin society and how kind of formalized it is in terms of child rearing and, you know, the circle in order to, you know, the eggs have to be very much cared for and never touch the ice and one of, one of each couple goes off, usually the female to go off to bring back food and then regurgitate it to the, the infant and the father and it's a pretty, you know, very social and very kind of uh, rigid society that way and they, and one group sings, you know, it's very much about the right note, you know, meeting each other and going, oh, oh, and others used pebbles, like the, the Adelis and rock hoppers, you know, made by forming a, a, a nest. And if the female likes the nest, much like humans, the right decorator, <laughs> you can basically, uh, you know, they form their couples. And what George decided to do was also add a lot of music, which given the fact that one group sings. And take the metaphor that there's a penguin who can't sing, but he can dance. And that makes him shuffle to the beat of a different drummer. And... Uh, they're also dealing with kind of a, some of, a, of something that's threatening their whole existence. And he wants to know why, what's happening, why are there no more. And they take it as being it's a sign from the great Gwyn that everything is falling apart. And he's going, no, but wait, well, there's no fish. Why is that? You know, there's, there's another reason. And he seems to be more scientific about it. Not, you know, or at least trying to go, what's going on? Why is this? Versus just accepting that if you live everything, it'll be all right. Um, uh, talk to me about the singing, uh, it, because it's, you know, we know, we, and Lord knows we've heard you sing in things. This one's more like the Gypsy King. It's got that voice, I hear me. You have that kind of really, and it's also a bit like Cyrano, or Cyrabeek, the idea of uh, I sing for someone else to kind of give him, to woo his, his loved one. And because I'm small, but I have a very deep voice, much like myself. I love Lovelace. It's all right to admit that now. <laughs> he's a, well, he's kind of a humpback mountain kind of way. He's called Lovelace. You're, you're supposed so, oh, to. Oh, yeah. He's all real. You got a Barry White there in the Great White. Barry White be out there working it, telling the women what's new, what's real. Come on, girl. You know how to feel. Come forward. Bring your pebbles and embrace the great me. That's all Lovelace. It's all bringing a lot of warmth and a lot of love because he's got so much to give and so much life to live, and that's what he's about, because he's been gifted with a talisman, the ultimate symbol of power. That's how he lives. Six-pack in many ways. Yeah, that's right, six-pack Shakur. That's <laughs> what he's wearing, that's all good. He's throwing it down, and there's a lot of that there as a rock hopper. You know, he knowing, he representing A, Antarctica, keeping it all. P, Penguin, that's my posse. Those are all my biatches, my beautiful little fluffy ones. Come forward and know me beak to beak. Uh, how many characters do you voice in this? Two. Just two? Is it, I wasn't, I, I, initially I had read the Initially thing. there were some others, but then we backed off because they started to be kind of recognizable. I was kind of doing a, one of the reverend type characters in the beginning, but it was better they gave it to someone else so it doesn't immediately start off being recognizable. But it, uh, it was more, I did it kind of like as a Scottish Presbyterian, having uh, some of that in my background. Uh, lots of Australians in this production. There are, there's lots of them, and uh, sadly Steve is in there. The great man himself did a voice just before he died. So it's, um, yeah, there's lots of Australians because it's George Miller. The only voice we're missing is Mel. And uh, don't know why. Maybe he thought some of the elephants here look Jewish, I don't know. But uh, I think, it was, um, it was great to have him there because they gave a certain, you know, any time you've got an Australian creature, you know it lives life. It's been out there. You know, they know. They've been down under. They know how to 
to live under the ice. They've done that. A little frightening, but still kind. Being down under can be a good thing. It can be, for those who know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Feet, the sequel, you see this going? No, I think you see it. For me, I only see it being that at the end. In fact, you know, it's so beautiful that it ends with the same song, you know? That, and a lot of the music is from the 70s and 80s. And we have a Prince song, or the artist formerly known as Prince, who's once again known as Prince now. And it's good to have, you know, just the music. I was watching it with a group of people. I just see people kind of doing like this. It's always good to see that. And it, like, all of a sudden people go, mm-hmm. You got Latin music, you got great soul music. You, and you just have such beautiful songs in it to kind of drive it along, which really helps. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really appreciate Namaste. it. Namaste. Thanks, Bob. You're always so good to